weight loss surgery peeps. This is a response to being tagged by Rosemary. This was Rosemary's tag and I'm a little late for the party but I did want to respond to it. The first question was about what uh, protein bar or go-to protein food you rely on. I had not, so I've not started uh, eating protein bars yet because I'm only seven weeks out for my sleeve surgery and just really adding solid foods and I have been very excited to see everyone's recommendations. I do want to have one of those for things like working out. I think I'm, I've been trying to work out as much as I can and I know that protein bars are really helpful with that. I'd say one of the protein foods I'm really relying on right now is the injury chicken soup. That is a great way for me to make sure I'm going to get my daily protein in and to allow me to experiment a bit with the solid foods I'm eating so that I'm not having to try and get all my protein from food. Um, I still do drink two protein drinks a day. My nutritionist expects me to do that for um, the weight loss period. So that allows me to bring in some fruits and vegetables and fun stuff like that. So that would be my answer to that one. Um, the second thing was to for two non-scale victories. Well, one of them for me has been that um, our family really loves the Dave Matthews Band and I've mentioned this on one of my um, regular weekly videos that I've always wanted to see them at the Gorge in Washington but it's a camping only venue and it's got steep terrain and I have never felt confident enough to go both with my weight and also my various um, physical issues. Well I took a leap of faith and my son and I are going to the Gorge in September, and that's really exciting, and I definitely consider that a non-scale victory. The other one is um, just feeling good in my body, regardless of what the scale is saying, that I'm able to walk a lot. I, today I actually walked our dog by myself, and that's something I have not done for a long, long time, so I consider that a non-scale victory. Now the third thing um, is what uh, does a family member or partner or friend, what change has, have they noticed in you? And I'll let my darling husband Michael answer that. Hi Rosemary, this is Michael. <laughs> anyway, I've seen a huge improvement in Maggie's just general being, her state of who she is, who I met and when we were dating and that's back. And boy, is that wonderful. And I'm also inspired by how dedicated Maggie's been with this change in our lives. I mean, we've always used food as this celebration of our togetherness. I bring in big trays of, of naughtiness, and we don't do that anymore. And so we've had to shift and do other creative things. And I've just seen this great transition of my darling being more, less of her, but more of her. So, thanks for your inspiration. Love you. The last part is to talk about three different YouTube sites that we visit. Not necessarily weight loss. I'm, you know, what I, it's hard for me because I have so many people I really adore that I see. Um, I'm going to make a list below of some of my favorites. You'll see that written below and I'm not going to mention them here now. I mean, obviously... I wouldn't, shouldn't even mention Rosemary Coney and Cabernet Queen Sally because everybody does, but um, those are three favorites of ours. But I'm going to make a list of some ones that I love and maybe some ones that some of you haven't even seen so that you can discover something new. Anyway, thanks, Rosemary. Everyone loves a tag and everyone loves you. Bye-bye. Bye, Rosemary.